Salman Rushdie in ITN Today has made a considered decision to reclaim parts of his life to end the virtual incarceration of the last two years. He said he's put the lid on a paperback edition of the Satanic Verses. Appearing live on News at One, he talked of embracing the Islamic faith and of remarks made by the supreme leader of the Sunni Muslims. After months in which I've been trying to hold out a hand of friendship and explain to people that I'm not an enemy of Islam and in many ways have been for many years an ally of Islamic, of the rights of Muslims in Kashmir or Palestine or here, um, what's happened is, is somebody has taken that hand and, and clasped it, and the somebody who has done so is no less than the supreme religious authority of the Sunni Muslim world. That's the Grand Sheikh of Al-Azhar in Cairo, who is the ultimate authority for 90% of the world's Muslims. Um, and what he has done is to give me his blessing and to say, if I may paraphrase, that the past should be considered, so to speak, a closed book. So now we're in a position here, we are on New Year's Eve, it's a new year, we are being told by the supreme religious authority that this matter is dealt with. Later I asked him about his critics who say he's sold out to Islam simply to save his own skin. Well, I mean, let them say it. You know, frankly, it's a matter for, for my conscience and my conscience feels fine. Um, it seems to me sometimes that I've been stuck between uh, one group of people who think that any step I might make is somehow um, wrong and a betrayal, and other people who think that any step I might make is insufficient. Now, uh, what I'm doing is simply taking the steps that I believe to be right. What's been the worst part for you over the past couple of years? Um, there's no doubt that the worst part of the last couple of years has been that my son has been obliged to be without a father for two years. And I have a great responsibility there, and it seems to me that I have to do something about that. And I'm sure that, you know, most Muslims in this country would understand that there is an innocent victim in this and that, they, and that it's time that, you know, that he was allowed to have a father. Have you seen your son? It's very difficult for me, I mean, because that's, that's the hardest thing.